Hey everyone, I hope everyone is having a happy new year so far. So I recently went to the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey and I did a big product haul. I actually caved and I bought a few things that I probably should not have, um, but I needed to anyway, so um, it's gonna help my freelance business. Um, for those of you that don't know, Short Hills Mall is a really beautiful mall. It is a mall that is huge. They have a ton of beautiful stores, high-end stores. It almost feels like you're on Rodeo Drive. That's how high-end it is. It's really nice. So you walk in there, they have all kinds of food stores, all kinds of um, interesting stores. They have a Zen store, an art gallery. They even have a bookstore that is incredibly interactive and amazing. So I go in there, and in addition to having clothes, they have a ton of skincare stores. I thought it was incredible. They have Bare Minerals. Sephora, um, Lush, the basics, but they also have some other brands you may not know about. One of them, when I first went to Short Hills Mall, actually back in, oh wow, back in New Year's Day, I went to Short Hills Mall, they have Sage, it's, I think it's spelled S-A-G-E, or no, S-A-J-E, Sage, it's a Canadian beauty store, it's got all kinds of essential oils, and for those of you that know, I am about that, I love natural remedies, all the essential oils, they sell the jade rollers, um, hair care, skin care, a whole bunch of different things. And I thought it was cool because we I'm all used to knowing the American brands. This was a Canadian brand that is fairly new here. So I was able to interact with it. They have interactive demos too in this mall. They have an interactive bike, um, interactive uh, Tesla has a store there, all these really neat things. And skincare wise, they have a brand that I, it was interesting. I found out about it first on Instagram and I walked past the store and I was literally going like this and I go, huh. So I walk and then I come right back. Um, I do want to um, also say that everyone there was super professional. It was such an amazing team. They were very friendly. I felt very welcomed. Um, I do want to give them all a shout out. Uh, they were wonderful at Short Hills. The team there is incredible. They helped me pick out products. They'll do facials on you too there um, if you get a membership. And this company is called Kiehl's, K-I-E-H-L-S. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Chances are I'm probably not. This company has been around since 1851. That is well over 100 years. Um, it's the finest apothecary skincare. Nature, science, and service is its main mission goal, and I love their little logo of the mortar and pestle. So this store is all based on natural skincare. They have incredible blends. Great store setup, it is super creative. Um, me and another customer, when I walked in the store, they had a little motorcycle that was pink, and I'm like, I hope that's for sale. We both said it, and they were laughing, like, no, it's just our decoration. But it's set up like an old Victorian era apothecary. It is so interactive, it's so incredible. So many testers. There's dog care, there's, um, they have skincare for children, infants, um, women, men, in general, um, non-gender specific skincare. And when you spend over a certain amount, you get a prize. So I got this beautiful little bag. Uh, I love the little logo on it. And I have a little coupon for a glow facial, which is the oxygen one. So let's see what else. I got a clearly corrective dark spot solution. A hydra hydro plumping retexturizing serum complex. Uh, a, and a calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash and a super multi-corrective cream. So they have a lot of skincare that corrects skin conditions like hyperpigmentation. There's a coffee one, there's a, for eyes, there's another eye one that does the same thing, but I guess it has different ingredients if you can't have coffee for some reason. And I like the idea that this company started from the Victorian era when we were just starting to learn about healthy herbs. We already had the traditional method, but it was making a comeback. When you study the history of herbalism and herbology, you'll realize that herbs went through a series of, um, I don't know, a series of evolutions where it was common, we learned a lot of stuff. And then in the Victorian era, people were traveling through boat, they were learning new things, they were getting around, they were learning you know, the Chinese herbs, they were growing local herbs, learning their medicinal properties, and there was this new vested interest in that. And when you study the history of cosmetology, if you've watched my videos on that, you'll know that the Victorians put a heavy emphasis on healthy, natural looking skin. Even though there was also that whole craze where you wanted white powdered face, there was also a movement though about using natural herbs and vegetables for like face masks and that set the foundation. So their products, even though they have that modern technology, they still have a lot of the same stuff they did back then, which I think is pretty cool because sometimes the traditional way does work. 
The purchases that I made there was a nightly refining micro peel concentrate with sustainably sourced quinoa husk extract. It has an AHA in there, so it'll be exciting to see how that works over time. And the Midnight Recovery Eye for dark circles under my eye, which I've been trying to correct. Since I've invested in a good ring light, things have looked a lot nicer. Before, I would see myself and I looked like a vampire. So that was um, Kiehl's. I will definitely be back there. I am super stoked to review everything there. And the other store I went to, of course, was Sephora. I had birthday points that I had to redeem. <laughs> um, and I ended up caving and buying the Dr. Yart. They keep calling it Dr. Jart. I think it's Dr. Yart is the proper way to say this. Dr. Yart V7 Priming Moisturizer with the Multivitamin Complex. And I redeemed some points for the Dr. Yart um, Ceramidin and the Dr. Yart Peptidin. So I'm excited to try those. And I got a free um, sample of uh, Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. And I had a cave and I ended up buying the Dr. Dennis Gross Pro Facial Steamer because I do my own facials at home and I do other people and this is portable and I, I've heard a lot of good things from it. I needed a facial steamer. I didn't want to go and buy a super expensive one, have to lug it around. I don't have a kind of van to do that kind of stuff. So I figured with this, I can put it in my special bag, take it with me and travel. So this is what I had purchased at the Short Hills Mall. If you live in New Jersey or you live in New York, you have to make it a point to go to the Short Hills Mall. It is an incredible experience. They have a lot of stuff there. At the very least, go to the um, Kiel store. It is super interactive. You'll learn a lot about skincare and how to take care of your own skin. So thank you so much for watching this. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna review first. Chances are I'm gonna be doing the facial steamer because I really needed to invest in one. If you guys have tried any of these products, especially this bad boy, let me know down below and tell me what you guys thought of it before I try it because I'm a little nervous but also excited. So like, comment, hit the subscribe button down below. I'll be doing a whole ton of review for you guys. I've been saving a lot of videos on my SD cards so I can do one massive upload. I'm gonna call this like a season four because I think this is my, wait a minute, I think it's my fourth year. 16, 17, 18, Yeah, this is my fourth year, I think, um, filming for YouTube. So it's like my season four. I'm going to really get serious. I've been getting more and more serious each and every year. This year, I'm recording everything in a massive SD card that I got for Christmas. I got a stronger one and then upload them on a nice schedule. So I'm going to get try, try to get back to that whole skincare Sunday and skincare Saturday um, thing and uh, maybe like hair Friday or something. So I'll see you guys soon.